Hello everyone, this is Kanfar here. Today I will present our new software. It's calling Kanfar Direction Finder. Actually, this is not uh, another ready tool. It's a complete RTL based direction finding solution that turn multiple low cost RTL dongles into a professional grade tracking system. Let's go into a website to see what is software. As we can see from here, the Kanfar Direction Finder, it's a professional radio direction finding system. What, as they are triangulation and real time bearing calculation, actually, it's have a four as they are simultaneous operation and it have a real time signal power measurement, 496 sample reading, and uh, it's have a adaptive threshold based alarm for visual and audio, and it have a polar plot and compass visualization, and it's covering frequency range from 24 actually to 1766 gigahertz. And it's have an 8 step gain control from 0 to 49.6 dB. And here the technical specification, the sample rate 2.4 uh, and uh, bandwidth 1.2 MHz. And uh, we have update interval from uh, 50 to 200 uh, millisecond. And we have a 50 size uh, for 0 0.96 points. Okay, for antenna system, we will talk about it later. And it's now going to the software. As you can see, the Traditional direction finding can be complex and expensive, and uh, our solution is a smart software-defined approach using uh, spatial diversity with a multiple uh, SDR dongles. And uh, let me show uh, how it works. We use uh, four SDR positions, as we can see from here. It's uh, north and south and east and west directions. We have here uh, a compass here, as we can see in the left side, and we have here a polar plot here in the, in the right side. We have a in sector for the north and east sector and south sector, and uh, we have a west sector here. The software continuously analyzes the signal strength across all receivers. Using uh, our advanced DSP algorithm we program here in the software, here we have a color coded compass and polar plot instead to show signal direction. Okay, now uh, here are the key, some key features here. It's multi SDR uh, synchronization and seamless integration of four RTL devices. And we have here a smart gain control from here. Actually, as we can see, when we increase the gain, what's happening here? It's uh, increased the gain for west and north and south and east as they are tunnels all together. We have a real time visualization. As we can see, classic compass in the left and scientific polar plot in the right. And uh, we have here a uh, uh, power threshold. Actually, this is very important to tune your uh, software with the environment around you. As you can see from this example here, when I am in gain 16.6 dB, as we can see here from the power log, we have a north and south and east and west. These power logs, as you can see from here, we have a 43, 44, minus 42, minus 43. So our environment around my location, around my area, around my antennas, uh, actually I'm putting the antennas here in the inside. Here the threshold, we have a minimum and a maximum. So you can, let's, uh, you can put here the frequency like uh, 433.9 and uh, any frequency. You want it's let's uh, try for testing uh, now let me send a signal as you can see from here actually from from here you see the south uh, the south polar plot is going up and here in the left it's reflected to the compass so i am here in my setup i put antenna in the south dongle and uh, all other dongles not put antenna. Let's try to decrease the gain from here. Let's try to test again, as we can see from here. So you know the signal coming from the south because now in my home, I, I remove all dongles for a testing purpose here to show to you. And here from the third, you can change. Let's try to increase the gain. So what's happening when you increase the gain? When you increase the gain, as you can see here on the, on the right side, the, the polar plot going up. So now, now as you can see from here, we have uh, 28 or 30, 33. So we need to put the minimum 
it's close to, to your environment. Let's put, we need to put here minus 10, as we can see, and we can put here minus 20. As we can see from here, the polar in the right side is going to the zero point at 32.8 dB. So, so here we can catch a signal that have uh, like a noise environment, we can eliminate all noise or all high gain signal using the result. So here in this case, we can monitor exactly our frequency we want to monitor. As we can see from here, here now the south is got the signal and all other not got because we put the antenna. As we can see from here, and now let's tell you how start the software. Let's close. Now let's start the software. Okay, now we're running the software. The, the first thing you need to do, you need to initialize your dongles. So let's click on initialization. So you can use tool like uh, RTLE prompt to rename your uh, your uh, SDR dongles and use uh, uh, RTL uh, test to test and see uh, everyone order. So you can, or you can change this here. So as we can see from here, we have a device zero initialization on device one and two and three. Now let's click on start. As we can see, it's, uh, everything is launching. Now every when you make a stop, you need to do initialization again and click start. Let's try to decrease the gain and put like 433.9 megahertz. As we can see here from uh, system log, all gain updated to this gain we, we put and we all uh, sectors going to this monitor frequency. Now let's try to enable the sound alarm, sound alarm enabled, and let's try to, let's try to do, as you can see from here, we have a uh, alarm signal exceed the maximum it result by plus 10 dB. So we program our logarithm for this uh, best, uh, value we make here in the software, as we can see from here. So our intelligence gain system automatically, actually, Select the optimal setting for the for the gain level. When a signal cross your uh, defined threshold, the alarm sound, uh, instant visual and audio alert, and uh, this is uh, perfect for uh, search and uh, rescue or uh, like uh, spectrum monitoring. We have under the hood actually we have a Python uh, powered uh, efficiency with C level optimization and uh, features automatic device recovery and signal process. And uh, actually, it's have a spatial correlations algorithm. Now let's talk about the secret part. You need to choose the right antenna for you. Can for direction finder support everything from simple table to military grade array. So let's break down the top three professional antennas and how to use them with our software. The log periodic dipole array, it's actually the Swiss Army KNIF for DF antennas. This wide band beats cover from 100 megahertz to 2 gigahertz, I think with 8. DBI gain, see these teeth like element, precision tuned for phase coherence, critical for comparing signal strength across your uh, four SDRs. And uh, you can align all four LPDAs at 90 interval for north and south and uh, east and west. And you can use identical 50 ohm cables to maintain signal balance. And in software, for example, you can set the narrow band like example uh, one from 144 or to 148 megahertz for, for razor shape bearings. Another antenna you can use, it's Yogi Yuda antenna. I think this Yogi antenna, it's it's hundred of signal actually, like a, a sniper of radio with a 15 dB gain and laser like 30 beam width. They amplify distance simple with the rejection noise. And you can use a helical antenna. It's like for a satellite tracking or a meteor match. A helical antenna at the critical polarization to the max. And this uh, helical antenna, it's about 70 beam width, captures moving targets and handles from 400 to 1, 700 megahertz, like for GBS or like for ISM or like for 19, 915 megahertz or like, like for uh, 1.2 gigahertz FPV. And finally, whether you're using $20 dipole or 2000 dollar tactical arrays i think here our software turned the hardware into intelligence okay finally this is canfer here stay tuned stay directional ciao ciao